Am I the butthole for pressing charges against my son? My son, 28, was visiting us for a couple days and was at my house alone babysitting my daughter's kid. According to my son, the other day my four-year-old granddaughter, his niece, pulled down the TV and broke it. My son told us that he took the TV to the dump as it was shattered and useless. My daughter and son-in-law, my four-year granddaughter's parents, felt very bad for what had happened and paid the cost of the TV that day. My husband was watching our security cameras and our son's story doesn't hold up. We never see our granddaughter breaking the TV. All that we see is our son taking away the TV that is not shattered. We asked our son about this and he said that the security camera must have cut out the part that shows our granddaughter breaking the TV. Eventually I got a call from my son's girlfriend that lives with him. She said that she knew what was going on and felt guilty. She basically told us that our son had made up the story about the TV breaking and stole it and took it to their house to watch. I filed a police report and his girlfriend let the police into their house to get us our TV back. We do plan on pressing charges against him. He stole our TV and made my daughter pay for it. That is messed up on so many levels. Am I the butthole for pressing charges? NTA at all. If you don't press charges, he'll think he can get away with stuff like this. Not cool. Frankly, you're not only not the butthole, you absolutely did the right thing and should be praised for it. I'm glad his girlfriend had the integrity to come clean. If it's his first offense, he can plead down to a misdemeanor and get some community service, and hopefully learn his lesson before does something that gets him years behind bars. Yay, how could you be the butthole in this situation? He's an adult and you can't punish him like a child, he needs to have adult consequences. You would think it would be that easy to see original poster isn't, but my ex-mother-in-law was the type to think anyone who would have their son slash parent slash so arrested would be in awe, even if they absolutely deserved it. Some people have a very disturbed viewpoint on what loyalty means. It strongly depends on culture. In Latin cultures most of the people wouldn't press charges at all and it's the norm, you handle family issues on the inside. That's interesting. My mother-in-law is definitely not Latin and neither are the other people I know who think this way, so I do believe it's prevalent in lots of cultures. Can I ask you, what does handling it on the inside entail? In your family, what would the parents have done in this scenario? It would most likely break in a fistfight between siblings, a lot of crying, regrets, apologies and forgiveness. I should mention, where I live it's not rare to have children living on the house even up to 40 or for life, family comes first always. But how is the son anywhere near putting family first? He disrespected them, lied to them, stole from them, manipulated them and when confronted with evidence, lied some more. Have you ever had a family member that just couldn't get on board with the family first mentality? If that's how your family handles things, and you're okay with it, that's cool. But I just don't see how this scenario could ever work that way, as the son wasn't in any way thinking of his family at all. If you have had a member like that, does it really put them back in line so to speak, when a fist fight happens? It doesn't matter how awfully one member of the family treats the others, the notion is that family is unconditional and it's their responsibility to be supportive in any circumstance. I totally understand how original poster is not the butthole here but I also know that most of my, Mexican, family would be horrified for even involving the police. They would say, the dirty laundry should be washed at home and they would try to sit the son down and talk to him over and over again which would probably be pointless. There is even a great song, Salsa, about it, it more or less translates to. Even if you are a thief and even if you're in the wrong it is my responsibility to help you and even when you use that many drugs and when you abuse us that much the family and I must take care for you that sums it up pretty much. Right I'm Puerto Rican and if this happened we'd just demand the money back for the TV or take it back and give it to the daughter who paid for it. Knowing my mom if my sisters did this, we never would, she would just pay the sibling who bought the TV back and take it and enjoy both. Then we'd all roast them at holidays and birthdays over it for being sketchy and cheap smiley face. Sounds like now you're speaking personally to the commenter, but I can also affirm that for Latin families, culture plays a huge part in how to handle. It's not about logic, it's about how a family culture has created their world so to speak, which includes only important members aka family. I myself come from a Latin family, particularly one that comes from a country where you cannot so easily depend on reporting to the police. 
In my family, the only reason why police would be called would be if someone is a danger to themselves, i.e. a drug user who's not in their right mind, but even then I know families that'll still find a way to take care of things themselves. And you have to remember this is all done out of love. We're not taking our relatives downstairs to beat them up or anything. For sure he doesn't put family first. He is out of control most likely. It's not a case that has happened in my family just what would happen in our region. What I mean by family first can be summed up in a salsa song by Ruben Blades Amor Y Control. I'll try to link it here here. Web link. I knew exactly what you meant by family first. I have heard that phrase so many times, I couldn't tell you the count. But I have noticed that when people use it, they are not actually considering the entire family. In this case, these parents also have a daughter who was made to pay money which she or her daughter did not actually owe. So, they DID put family first. They put their daughter, their son-in-law, and their granddaughter first, before a lying, thieving butthole. In our region few parents would charge their daughter for the TV in a similar case, I agree with you the son is a major awe but still the son and he wouldn't be disowned or sent to jail like that. Latinos would just get over it to be honest. Probably demand the money back or something. But the parents would just take the hit, the siblings wouldn't talk for a while, then they would just forget it. Family comes first even when we're crafty to each other, that's just the culture. We'd never ever ruin each other's futures calling the police. At worst if he escalates it he'd just be cut out of the family until he learned to act right. I'm 100% sure my mom would have handled this by confronting her kid and demanding the television back and if he refused call the police at that point. Not saying original poster is a butthole, but I do also agree w some of the other comments about the justice system being so effed calling the police should be a last resort in most cases. Hard to judge without more context about their family relationship, however, I would think if he's trusted to take care of the four-year-old it might be worth trying to handle in the family first. Unless violence is involved, I'm extremely opposed to getting the effed up US justice system involved in family matters. This could have been handled in a way that did not involve police and a permanent record. I mean, how much was the TV? Is the son now a felon who can't vote, rent property, or get a job? Everyone in the comments section here seems to have such a raging justice boner it's clouding their judgment, as boners are wont to do. Or, they are people who have lived through these experiences, tried to handle things within the family, and were burned for it? Like, both my half-siblings financially abuse my mom. Talking with her 8 plus, years down the line, had she just pressed charges when things weren't so bad, things probably would have not only turned out better for her, but for my half-siblings as well. These behaviors escalate, they don't stop unless you nip it in the bud. My mom tried the you aren't welcome here anymore. Do you know what happened? My siblings repeatedly broke into her house, broke through the locks on her bedroom door, broke through the lock on her closet, stole her safe, and then pawned all of own grandmother's jewelry. They weren't even valuable in terms of their monetary worth. My siblings knew they held immense sentimental value because our grandmother died of cancer that deteriorated her mental state to the point she didn't recognize our mom and would scream the vilest things at her when she tried to visit. My mom was only 16 when our grandmother died. The jewelry was some of the few things she had from her time with her mom where she was still her mom. Like, I'm sorry, but as someone who has dealt with siblings who would leave my mom homeless if they could, I absolutely disagree. They aren't even addicts, they're just crafty, entitled people with victim complexes the size of Mars. How to handle this on the inside? Go collect your TV, which will be easy as the girlfriend will let you in, then tell your son he simply isn't welcome in your home anymore. Return the money to the daughter and son-in-law. I actually finally did think about this later and mentioned it in another comment. If she let the police in as original poster says, she could have just let the parents in too. Although that wouldn't have really solved the bigger issue, but you're absolutely right it would have been the best way to go about getting the TV back. I'm just wondering WTF this dude was thinking. Like. Once the cops have done their thing, I want to know what the hell went through his head because I don't think I've heard of an adult in more need of some time with his nose in a corner thinking about what he did. He will probably justify with some perceived slight from the past. I know, right? Like, what a stupid lie. Did he leave his niece at the house while he took the TV to the dump? Why would he do it right that minute? In my world, that crap lies around in the garage or wherever until someone makes a dump run. 
How dare an adult be charged for a crime they committed? Not the butthole adding, they should keep in touch with GF. If he's this callous she might be in danger. NTA but it is not up to you to press charges. It is up to the DA and no criminal prosecutor will file this. By the time it gets to trial parents recant and prosecution is left with a mess on their hands. You think you will want to pursue it but once you see the cost of lawyers and background check difficulties for housing and employment 99% of parents want it dismissed, also up to the prosecutor not the victim. Especially if you got the TV back and no restitution is outstanding. Does he have any other criminal history? Transitional age youth 18 to 24 have mental health problems flare at this age could that be what is going on? Drug use? Or really just an entitled narcissist for sport? Civilians pressing charges is a TV concept not reality. One of the reasons I can't stand to watch legal TV shows as a lawyer. As much as it sucks, getting the police to solve family problems causes more problems than it solves. Unless he is violent or threatening physical harm, they should just reduce contact with their son. Legal bills, costs of incarceration, and then the long-term problems with employment caused by having a criminal record mean that unless they are disowning him completely that they would be even more stuck with his even larger problems. He would be less self-sufficient than he is now. People really need to get over the idea that police and prison teach lessons. They do punish, but the punishment is pretty far out of proportion in terms of life consequences. Not the butthole, I usually don't agree with involving the police and family disputes but in this case, it was warranted. He blatantly lied about into a child, forced the hand of your daughter to pay for the replacement cost of the TV, and stole the TV. If confronted, the situation could have escalated, so filing the police report was the right thing to do. What I'm wondering is what his long game was? Like, you would come over to his place, see your old TV and not notice? Like, you would come over to his place, see your old TV and not notice? Yeah. The whole situation seems pretty weird and poorly thought through. I'm wondering if there's something more going on with the son, like he's an addict or having some mental health issues. Or maybe he's just an idiot. In any case if I were original poster I'd do some checking in on him. I thought the same thing, that he'd eventually sell it. It's sort of a hallmark trait of stupid people to not have that much forethought. I agree with you to a point but I also think you haven't known an addict. I have known some, but it strikes me that intelligence doesn't even factor into decision making for those who are addicted. A person who is addicted may be brilliant in their work but then make dumbass mistakes that defy all logic. I don't understand it. But when you say stupid people, well, you are wrong about it. Addiction encompasses any and all who fall under the sway of a substance or a feeling, for example, gambling addicts. I wish I knew more and why seemingly intelligent people make terrible decisions just to get a rush. But I don't. I do wish there were a cure because it's hell for the families. You could not be more right in your synopsis of addiction. Intelligence plays no role I'm no dummy, I currently have a 4.0 GPA, but I struggled with substance was used for almost 20 years, and basically stole crap right in front of people. Beyond stupid. But I didn't care I had to have my fix, no matter what. Thankfully I'll have three years clean in September, and am in school to become an addictions counselor. I'm glad that there are people out there like you that have a good understanding of how addiction actually works. Congratulations. I really am proud of you for staying strong. I wish I knew a formula to fix the person I know, they haven't received therapy, and consider themselves cured. But the only reason they haven't relapsed back into their behavior is they moved eight hours away from the casinos, and they don't like to travel. I'm just glad distance solved it for them. I 100% thought the girlfriend was going to say he pawned it for drug money. Like, you would come over to his place, see your old TV and not notice? I might be the odd person out but none of my family visits my place? If I want to see them I go to their house or we meet somewhere. That's not odd, it just depends on family dynamics. You could also just not be in a good spot to have people visit. Nothing to feel bad about. Looks like you have the perfect opportunity to steal TVs and couches, yo, little Timmy set the leather couch on fire so I took it to the dump. But Timmy is three years old. Yeah but he was smoking a cigarette. I don't know, man, but y'all's parenting skills suck. Yeah same. 
My so and I live in an apartment with roommates. My dad has been over once or twice over the course of two years when I needed something repaired not covered by apartment maintenance but it's just not a great place for entertaining. Am I alone in thinking all TVs look basically the same? I don't think I could pick my own TV out of a lineup and I look at it every day. Yeah I think my parents and I might have the same TV? I can't tell either way lol. Oh look, it's a black flat screen. Yeah, no. My parents smoothed over my brother's thefts and enabled his meth habit. He's in recovery now but he might have hit rock bottom sooner if they didn't just pay out of pocket to make good his thieving. If it was hooked up in the bedroom, they might not come across it when visiting. They may not visit his house. He may just go over there. That's how it is for my family mostly. It's only occasionally that they go to a kid's house. Who knows what else he's stolen? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.